Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. I'm a SQL DBA trainer from SOS University, Society of Software Engineers. So we are planning to start a new batch on SQL Server DBA, Advanced Concepts, guys, MSSQL DBA, Advanced Concepts. So we are going to start this batch from 25th May, 2024, guys, from coming Saturday onwards. We are planning to start this batch. So this is a SQL Server DBA, Advanced Concepts batch, guys. So only Advanced Concepts we are going to cover in this batch okay so the timings will be saturdays and sundays morning 7 to 9 30 and evening 7 to 9 30 ist guys so it will be on saturdays and sundays morning 7 to 9 30 and evening 7 to 9 30 guys so four sessions we are going to connect saturday morning and evening sunday morning and evening so all four sessions we have to attend guys okay so what and all topics we are going to cover in this uh, in this course, right? So we are going to cover in-place upgradation, advanced concepts including like uh, in-place upgradation and side-by-side -side migration and then we'll start the HADR introduction, guys. What is HADR and all, how many solutions are there under HADR? So we'll, we'll introduce HADR, introduction to HADR and we are also going to start the Active Directory domain setup, guys. This is not a SQL DBA topic, but to practice it real time, right? To create the real time setup and environment. So we have to set up the Active Directory, guys. Active Directory domain setup we should have. So for that purpose, we are going to create the AD machine. And this is a completely Windows topic. Still, we'll discuss and we'll configure the Active Directory. Once the setup is done, uh, we are going to start with the log shipping. Okay, so then we'll, we'll discuss the mirroring and then we'll discuss the replication concept. And then we'll discuss Windows Server failover clustering. This is also a Windows concept, but still we should have a, a good knowledge on the Windows clustering, which is useful for SQL clustering and always on, guys. So we have to discuss about the Windows clustering and we are going to discuss about it. And I'll also show you how to set up the Windows cluster, guys. So in the real time, I'll show you how to set up the uh, Windows cluster and all with the different nodes and once that is done we are going to start the sql server failure clustering we will we'll cover the sql server failure clustering and then finally we will cover the always on setup in the hadr right so once this is completed then we are going to cover the performance screening up to five years level experience guys so up to five years what kind of performance bottlenecks performance issues how to check them how to troubleshoot how to find the okay best performance settings and all how to change the performance related settings what kind of recommended practices are there to implement the best performance okay to get the best performance what kind of recommended configurations are there all these things and the common interview questions on that all these things we are going to cover in the advanced concepts guys okay so every topic we are going to cover okay initially we'll have a discussion guys on the topic and then I'll show you the setup, how to set up the topic. And then I'll show you configurations of that particular concept. And then I'll show you, especially like in the HADR, I'll show you failover, failback and all. And we'll also discuss some common errors on that particular topic. Sometimes in the interest, we'll get it, what kind of errors you faced. They'll ask you to explain the errors to some common errors. Okay, we are going to discuss in each and every topic. And we are going to discuss interview questions also on that particular topic. Okay, we are going to discuss interview questions also on that particular topic and we'll give some assignments guys so so that it will be very useful to crack the interviews and all and to improve your knowledge and all the assignments will be very useful guys right and uh, complete training will be with the oracle virtual machines you can see these are the previous batch virtual machines guys this is ad machine you can see for ups application okay this is an ad machine this is going to work as an ad machine and this is a primary server 01p this is a secondary server 02p. These servers will be up and running. The three Windows machines will be up and running. And then we'll create the VMs and these machines will be up and running so that in the real-time environment, how the servers will be, the same kind of servers we are going to set up in our laptop, including the server names, guys. Okay, so we are going to work with the three Windows machine parallel. I'm not going to install in my local server and I'm not going to show you log shipping mirroring and all in the local server guys local laptop and all completely will build a servers new servers and we are going to discuss end to end 
okay in the real time way guys okay so it will be very useful so that if you if you you can also start creating the same kind of environment with your with the classes with the class recordings and all and you can practice it so that once you are into the organization once you are in the organization or once you are in the project you don't get any shiver or you don't worry no need to worry guys to touch the real time servers and all as the same replica we are going to set up in our laptops guys okay so everything i am going to explain so each and every concept i'll explain with the help of diagrams guys every every concept first will discuss the theory part right so during that i'll explain how these concepts will work you can see this is a infosys okay domain controller or ad machine this is how it will be i am going to explain guys each and everything so it's not a downloaded image and all i am going to draw each and every component and i am going to show you how this concept and all will work okay you can see here this is log shipping configuration log shipping architecture how this will be and all i'll explain with the help of diagrams guys so this is how it will be so you can see here the components are okay how they are moving and also these these are not download pictures guys i'm going to explain each and every component of the particular concept guys okay this is how mirroring will work this is the mirroring diagram guys and this is how replication will work i'm going to explain how the replication concept will work everything like this okay with the help of diagrams and we'll also discuss the windows cluster setup okay and we'll also cover the sql cluster setup and then we'll will discuss about the always on what is always on what is listener how it will work how the data will be synchronized in the always on how the data will be synchronized in other hdr solutions everything we are going to cover guys okay so with the help of diagrams with the help of real time environment we are going to discuss everything completely guys okay you, so if you are interested and you will also get the material with this you will also get the class recordings with this and if you stuck at any point you can also ping me so that i am going to help you out guys so these are the services i am providing and if you are interested you can ping me on this whatsapp number 9902590140 this is my indian whatsapp number guys you can ping me on this number if i am not reachable you can send me an email to swsu university swsu university at the rate gmail.com guys you can also send me an email to uh, swsu university guys okay so thank you for watching okay so we'll start the new batch from 25th may guys if you are interested just ping me thank you guys